Let's jump in. The Boston College Eagles. Seven and five last year, four and four in conference. They returned six starters on offense, three on defense. That's not good, by the way. Number 96 in experience returning. That's number 11 in the conference. Their over-under is six and a half. You go over that six and a half, it's plus 130. The juice for the under is minus 150. Head coach Steve Adazio, 38 and 38 in six years, which is the most Steve Adazio Boston College thing ever. Oh, come on, man. That's a really good thing at Boston College. No, it, it is, but what I'm saying is he's it, it's it's an average of like six and six every year. That's right. right. I mean, it's just that's man, it's a that's big time at Boston College. Yeah. In BC. No, it's, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, but they, he loses a great defense. They lose three out of their five offensive line starters, um, which the offensive line powers what he does, That's what right. he wants to do, which is a power running attack. Running back A.J. Dillon is back. He had over 1,100 yards last year in 10 touchdowns. That is despite missing two games. Uh, he and Anthony Brown, the quarterback, Anthony Brown went out with an injury late in the year. He's back. Uh, he's not the most accurate passer, but he is a playmaker. I was going to say, he's super athletic. Yeah. And yeah, he can he can spread the ball around, and he can make stuff happen with his legs, too. Exactly. Yeah. Now, the only issue with those two is the 2008 off- or 2018 offense, their success rate, 37.8. That was number 110 in FBS, number 13 in the ACC. So maybe they're a little bit predictable. And that can be a problem. Okay. Uh, they lose their offensive coordinator, Scott Leffler, to Bowling Green. We kind of laughed about that. Um, and, and he's he's going to be a head coach, which is why we laughed. Like, it is what it is. Uh, he demoted defensive coordinator Jim Reed to defensive end coach. The new D.C. is linebacker coach Bill Sheridan. The back half of the schedule is absolutely ridiculous. I was just about to say, yeah. Um, the Brutal. first half could provide, you know, a little bit of false hope. If they get a an upset win over Virginia Tech in week one, they could open up at 7-0? 6 7-0? I mean, they, they'd be 6-0 possibly before that, their that first That would be bye hard. Week. That, that's, that's, I don't know if that's realistic. Here's here's where I have them. Okay. I've got them at 7-5. and five. I've got them losing the opener to Virginia Tech, and then I've got them reeling off six straight wins over Richmond, Kansas, at Rutgers, Wake Forest, at Louisville, and then after the bye, they've got NC State at home. And then after that, at Clemson, at Syracuse, Florida State, a bye week, and at Notre Dame, I've got all losses. Correct. And then I've got a win at Pitt to end the season to go seven and five yet again. Uh, I don't. This is not the year for the breakthrough. I don't believe. But if you're not going to get it while uh, AJ Dillon and Anthony Brown are here, I don't know when that's coming because these two guys are exceptional talents. No, they're really good. Uh, and I I like Adazio. I, I, he's a character. Anyway, I like BC. <laughs> I, I you know big Italian. It. You guy. gotta love it. Like, it's it's yeah. dudes being dudes. Dudes. Yeah. He he's he is a definitely a big Italian Boston guy. Um, I got him six and six. I want him to be better. I, and I you just, could see six and six. You could see him losing at Pitt. You could see him losing two. The NC fact State. that they're thirty eight and thirty eight overall with him. I mean, I just think that is. That is their record. Yeah. And I think 6-6 six and six is really good at BC. Yes. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, they usually play somebody that they're supposed to lose really tight all the way to the wire, but they tend to not win that game, which yeah. is really strange. You've got these teams, you've got these coaches that can pull off that one big upset every year. I watch them. I watch a lot of them, and I think this is it. This is going to be that game. And then they... They kind of give it away in the fourth quarter. And it's just because at some point in time, they don't have the athletes these other bigger programs do. We talked about their coaching staff and the changes and the, the manipulation of, of demoting guys and bringing dudes in that you kind of never really heard of. Yeah. I mean, they're not working with the budget that Clemson's working with, or Florida State. Like, we're not even Louisville. Louisville's budget's got to be over double theirs. Yeah. I mean, it's. Well, it's just in the Northeast, college football is not. There are a more colleges thing. in Boston than there than there are in like the state of you know Mississippi, Alabama, and and Louisiana combined. Yeah, but none of those schools play football. This one does, and they're a part of the the Power Five. But 
Now there's a there's a lot of tradition there, right? I oh mean, yeah. Matty Ice is is from there. Matt Ryan, yep. uh, Doug Flutie, like they they've, they've had got some runs. Yes, yeah. right. They've had some runs, and they're a great school. I would love to see them go seven and five. I'd oh, love yeah. to see them go eight and four, pull off a couple upsets, run off. Some, they've got some talent, and I like seeing those guys do well. I just don't know if it's realistic. Yeah, I, I think uh, I'm I'm with you. I just I don't see I don't see a lot of improvement. Especially not this year, um, but they've still got physical guys, and they will play physical, and they will make a lot of teams uncomfortable, and that's what they do best. 